Hands off my stuff. You're pretty cocky for someone who doesn't even have a weapon. Quite impressive, to be honest. Hold on. Is that... a cradle on your back? Are you a mayfly? How interesting. I thought I was the only mayfly left. I'm Mary. It's a good thing I met you. I'm thinking as fellow mayflies. We should be able to help each other out. I came here to investigate a deviation that's been causing issues. I think it's connected to a recently reopened monolith nearby. Don't tell me you're going to try and take on a powerful deviation barehanded. Even an ordinary deviant could tear you apart right now. You're pretty inexperienced, aren't you? I'm going to give you a blueprint. Use it to make yourself a gun. Trust me. You'll need one if you want to stand even half a chance of surviving out there. While you're doing that, I have other matters to attend to. Once you're done, come find me in Deadsville. It's the nearest survivor settlement. We can plan our next steps from there. After all, two heads are better than one. And I'd never turn down help. Come take a look. Anything that catches your eye, I'm always open for business. Wait, I've never seen you before, but you're a mayfly, ain't you? Oh, thank goodness. I could really use some help. My name's Claire. Claire Lay. Normally, I'm a wandering merchant, but now I'm stuck here. I sent a team over to a place called the Rotten Manor three days ago to collect some goods for me. But they never came back. It's possible that they ran off with the goods. Don't be so cynical. I've been through thick and thin with them. They wouldn't do that to me. I'm afraid that something must have happened to them. Rumor is, the Rotten Manor's seen a surge of deviants recently. I suspect there's a deviation behind it. All I know is what I heard from that well-dressed gentleman over there. He should be able to tell you more. There's no question. That guy stands out. We'd better talk to him and see what he knows. Good luck. Oh, and I'll happily pay a reward if you can recover my stuff for me. I'll mark Rotten Manor on your map. Make sure to stock up on ammo before you go, all right? And know the place for the first time, through the unknown, unremembered gate. Ah, a mayfly, and one who seems to be brimming with potential. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Do you know about a deviation affecting this area? You've come to the right man. I am Samuel Lowe. A humble scholar specializing in the fascinating phenomena we call deviations. And as for you, you seek keys with which to unlock the Dark Tower, don't you? But I'd be wary of what else you might open up. Do you always speak in riddles like this? I was merely setting the mood. The world still deserves something poetic. Don't you think? Now... You're interested in the deviation inside that monolith, aren't you? But the tower is locked up tight, and its keys are rift anchors across the wetlands. Rift anchors? Those things are made by Rosetta, aren't they? Activating them should give us access to the rift space inside the monolith. Spot on. And now tell me, where do you think those anchors would be? Usually places with the heaviest stardust pollution. The Rotten Manor would definitely be one of them. Indeed. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do, Mayfly. I'm sure it will be a remarkable story to share. By the way, I wouldn't mind adding another deviation to my collection. Now that we know what to do, let's split up to cover more ground. I'll find a way to hack into the monolith. Once you've activated the rift anchors, come meet me at the monolith gate. Just don't forget to bring plenty of ammo. That place must be packed with deviants. Oh, and one more thing. I have a motorcycle here you can use.
Actually, I think we found Claire's goods. Too bad her team didn't make it, though. Look at this substance. It must have come from that festering gel deviation. Closer look. Nice and easy. Well done. I've noticed some other strange Stardust readings elsewhere. Quite similar to what we encountered here. I've marked their locations. Hopefully, we'll find the other rift anchors there. Nice work with the rift anchors. I guess you're the real deal after all. Sounds tough, but I think it was worth it. And I've made some discoveries regarding the deviation as well. Each time a rift anchor was activated, there was an obvious reaction inside the monolith. The deviation must be holed up inside. Let's go in together this time. I'm curious about that troublemaker inside. And besides, we're a team. I brought some ammo. And meds for us as well. Now, let's go.
You made it. I knew I could count on you. You're quite good at handling deviants, aren't you? I gotta say, you've proven yourself to be a good teammate. Take what was yours.
did it! I knew you could. I don't know why I was so worried. Thank you. This really means a lot to me. The fluctuations in Stardust seem to have grown calmer. And I feel stronger now. The more deviations we contain, the more the world will stabilize. And the more Mitsuko's power can grow. We still have five more monoliths to shut down. Until then, the physical world remains too dangerous for Mitsuko. Yes, but... This is already a huge step forward. You've done your best. And we are already starting to see a change. But... The Mayflies were wiped out by Rosetta. All because of me. I was too weak to save them. It wasn't your fault. None of us were ready to take Rosetta head on. And Rosetta's not the only threat out there. The Great Ones also covet Mitsuko's power. So remember, keep everything involving her a secret. We don't know who we can trust. <laughs>